what is it, explorers, back at the St. James Cemetery to visit our good friend, James Sinclair. Here's the story about this guy. You gotta find him very interesting. Here's the story. Born in Scotland in 1732, James Sinclair served under the Duke of Cumberland and was present at the Battle of Culloden in 1746. He afterwards served at the Siege of Iwibu in 1758 and was there in July when the French turned it over. He was made flag bearer for General Wolfe at the Battle of the Plains of Abraham in 1759. Then again, the French turned it over. And finally, he was a made an officer of the British militia and defended the siege of Quebec against the Americans in 1775. He died a magistrate in 1821. Okay, I'm a little disappointed. Hurting. Hurting? I, am I hurting you, sir? No. Run. No, I won't run. I'm a soldier. I used to be a soldier, so I won't run. Why do you want me to run? Can you try to touch the other device beside the the box you you used to talk with the green light? Suffocate. Suffocate. Is that the way you die? You suffocated? Did you die of a illness? Was it tuberculosis? Last time you were using the cat ball a lot. Who is he? My name is J.F. DuPont. Coming to get me. No, I'm not coming to get you, sir. I want to communicate with you. I want to know if there's life after death. Where does our energy go when we die? Those are the questions I want to answer. So all those devices are, are there for you to use. to like increasing the temperature. Inmate? Yeah, the inmate. The prison is just over there. Are you the inmate I was chatting with? From the prison? No. You'd be far from... Rituals. Rituals? No, I'm not doing rituals. 
Over here we're doing rituals. Burial. The music that you hear, it's not rituals. It's a band playing. Back in your day, you had some music. It's always the increase in temperature. And sometimes the breeze is cold. Behind me that freaks me out. Old. Yeah, you're old. You're old. You died in 1781. We're in 2022 now. You don't want to play with the light? That light? That would be really, really nice. You were a little bit more talkative last time I came. I think tonight, even with the full moon, you're not really eager to talk, eh? I can't understand. Temperature increase again. Can you touch the antenna? Come on, just get close like that. That would be really, really, really nice. We'll try another another way to communicate. We'll try this one. Probably will you will like this one more. Do you want to communicate with you with me, Mr. Sinclair? I, last time I've, I've congratulated you on all your accomplishments. Battle of Culloden, Siege of Willebourg, Battle of the Plains, Battle of trois Rivières. Four battles and you survive all of them. We're a great soldier, I think. Put it on top. So it won't interfere with my older devices. Don't want to play with my devices.
There you go. That's good. That's good. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Okay. We'll just leave that right here. That good? You want me to hold it? Try the other one. So you like it when I hold it. And it's not my camera. Oh, temperature increase again. Is that my recorder? It's not my recorder. Look, it's not my phone. It's not the ball. Right here. Iron Age. No, we're not in the Iron Age. It's 2022. We're really far from the Iron Age. Put it right in. No. Scream. Scream. No, I won't scream. Why should I? Up to date. Didn't do nothing to scare me. When I light my torch, if you touch it slightly, it's gonna light up. There you go. Yes, over here. Yes, over here. Yes, I know you over here. Over here, sir. Can you turn off the flashlight, the torch, the thing on your on your tomb? I see that you're working on it. Work hard, sir. I know you can do it. Turn it off. Can you turn it off? Joyce. Joyce. Who is Joyce? Is it your wife? Look, the cat ball. Remember this ball? You liked it. When I came here the last time, you were playing with it. Want to light up the torch again? Thank you! Wow! Thank you, sir! Wow! Thank you! Can you try to touch? The antenna. Thank you. Can you trust the antenna of the rampod? The thing in the middle of your tomb? Can you try to touch the antenna, please? Oh, you seem to like the torch. Want to light up the torch again? Haunted. Haunted? That's what I try to find out. That's what I try to find out, sir. If 
Carthage graveyard is, well, really haunted. Can you light up the torch again? Thank you. Wow. Sir, wow. Thank you. Can you play with the other lights? That would be good. Okay. Turn off the light if you want me to go. Okay. That was a quick answer. Turn on the light if you want me to go and never come back again. Turn on the light if you want me to go just for tonight. Okay. A pact? A pact. You want to do a pact with me? If you want to do a pact with me, turn on the flashlight. Thank you. Okay. I'll do a pack with you. I will come and see you only respectfully when you No? Okay. So if I want to come and see you and speak with you, am I welcome? Turn on the flashlight if I'm welcome. So I understand that I'm not welcome. Turn on the flashlight. Robinson? No. Dupont. Dupont. My name is French, but I got English ancestors. Yes. On my mother's side, my name is Foster. On my father's side, my name is Dupont. I was born and raised here in this country. The country you helped to found that I'm grateful for thank you thank you sir thank you so you seem to like the flashlight tonight right can you turn it on if you like the flashlight the torch I know it takes lots of your lots of your energy talk yeah we're talking Yes, we're talking, sir. And I love the conversation that I'm having right now. You too? Okay, thank you. If you like the conversation, turn off the flashlight. Can you turn it off? If you like it? If you don't like the conversation, can you turn it off? Oh, okay. Attractive. I'm attractive? Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm, I'm pretty sure you were a nice man yourself at your time. And I've seen some drawings of, I think they were from you. And, well, you all, you are a well-dressed and well, good-looking gentleman. Do you like this country? Yes, okay, thank you. So you love this country that you founded, right? You're sad. Why are you sad? Do you miss Scotland? Turn off the flashlight if you miss Scotland. Oh, okay. That's why. You miss Scotland. All right. All right, I understand. I, I understand, really. It's sad to be born in a country and to come and conquer a country, but you stay in here and you wear a protector of the town. And... Uh, Pull? Pull what? Pull my jacket? 
Yeah, pull on it. Touch me. Feel free. Yeah, touch the flashlight. Touch the ramp pod. Touch the antenna. Please. That would be really great. I know it takes lots of energy, but I'm pretty sure that the wind is cold and violet. Now, now it's beeping cold because it's cold. Violet. The wind is cold, so the ramp pod is beeping blue. But before, the wind was the same and it was beeping red. So, right before the rampart be blue, when it was beeping red, were you breathing on it? Can you turn the flashlight on if you were doing it? Were you breathing on my rampart? Yes, you were, okay, that's why. Last time you were breathing on it, that, right? All right. So, tonight you don't like the cat ball. You seem to dislike the cat ball for tonight. Guilty? Guilty. Who's guilty? Am I guilty? Can you turn on the flashlight if I'm guilty? Were you guilty or something? Beeping blue. Touch the antenna instead. The lights are. Yeah, this one. You have this one. But the other one, if you touch the antenna, it's gonna be green, blue, yellow. Try it. It's really beautiful. You seem to like the torch more. Yes. That was a that would have been useful back in the day in the field, right? Any final words? Any final thoughts? Touch a light, a green light, try to spike it to yellow or orange. The flashlight. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, I understand. You like playing with the torch, all right. So, okay. Well, have you loved Canada? Or, yes, all right. So you love this country as well, right? And turn on the flashlight. I'm at peace. You're at peace. Yeah, I know you're at peace, sir. And I'm gonna leave you alone just a moment, just in a moment. But. I'm really loving the conversation that we're having right now. And it would be really, really nice if you can turn on the flashlight again. Just to prove that you're still here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really happy to communicate with you. And I, I will really, really love if you could leave a message on that little box near that crack in your tomb and you like this beeping but I don't know why Jordan okay Jordan. Hmm. Yeah, blue light is flashing Come on, try. Try it, sir. 
Oh, okay. It's the antenna that you want. The, not the antenna, sorry. The torch. The flashlight. You like this, that invention? The torch? Can you turn it off if you like it? Yeah, okay. Open. Okay. Yeah, I know your casket, your tomb is open. Probably some bad people that wanted to break into your tomb. But could be a way to communicate with you. Would you like to have your grave repaired? Turn on the flashlight. If you were, you, you would like that. Sorry for my English and French. <laughs> Can you turn on the flashlight? If you want to have your tomb repaired? Or at least the marking to be visible again? Or you like being under this tree? Do you like it? Turn on the flashlight. Yes. See you. Last time you said the, the, the same thing, did I, but I didn't see you, sir. I want to see you. Please. I got the chills. I got major goosebumps. I got major chills. The vibe is good. The vibe is great. I'm not feeling nothing bad. I feel I'm having a conversation with another soldier, so that's really interesting. Yeah, let let let, let me think what you think in the comments, all right? All right, and uh, by the same time, please subscribe. Sick? Yes, in a way, I'm sick. Uh, were you sick when you died? You said earlier that you suffocating. So you died of a illness, right? Can you turn off the flashlight if you died of a illness? Lights. Lights, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Turn it off. Yeah, you turn off that light. Oh. So you're breathing on my device again. So you want to show yourself to me. I will be really honored to see you. Or just light up one of my devices. That little green light right there. Oh yeah, well <laughs> you like the torch. But this one as well, look. I will put it right beside it. I put it just like that. Can you try to touch, turn off the flashlight and touch the other thing? English. Well, yes, I have problem with my English, and I'm really sorry about that. I know you like playing with the torch. Can you try to touch the other device? Hide? Why do you want me to hide? Then turn off the flashlight and touch the other light. That would be nice. Yeah, you can do it. Come on. There you go. Thank you.
Can you try to touch the green light? Try to spike it a bit? Or turn on the flashlight again? You seem to like the flashlight. When you play with a toy, you seem to keep with that toy. Last time was the cat ball, now it's the flashlight. Out. Out. So you want me to go? Turn on the flashlight if you want me to go. Do you want me to stay? Turn on the flashlight if you want me to stay. You want me to stay? My name. Your name? Yes, James Sinclair. James Sinclair. At 14, you were at the Battle of Culloden. You were at the Siege of Louisbourg and the Battle of the Plains. You're breathing in my machine again. Showing a red light. And I'm feeling a cold breeze. You're breathing on my machine again. Turn off the flashlight. There you go. Keep on going. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Well. I'm having a great, great conversation with you. I hope you're enjoying it. Are you enjoying it? Turn on the flashlight if you're enjoying it. No? Below? Yeah, I know you're below, sir. Do you like the music that you're hearing? Turn on the flashlight if you like it. I think I told you before, it's a full moon tonight. You can pull some energy. Incident. Incident. Which incident? Okay. Are you a member of the 81st Regiment that drowned in the St. Morris River? So you are. If you're a soldier from the 81st Regiment that drowned in the St. Morris River, turn on the flashlight. It's blurry. Struggle. I know that you struggled. Oh my god. It's no, not focusing. Okay. Are you around? Okay, you're still around. So, are you? A soldier of the 81st regiment that drowned in the St. Morris River. Predict. Predict. Predict what? Sorry, you guys, if, you, if it doesn't focus, I don't know why.
Thank you. Ball? No, it's not a ball. It's musicians. Love? Okay, love. You love the city? I'll try another device, sir. Alright? It's called a spirit box. And with this, you can use radio waves. Communicate with me. Am I frustrating you? Are you upset? Turn on the flash turn off the flashlight if you're upset. Okay, I will turn off that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, sir. I thought that I could communicate with you with this, but Okay, I'll put it away. Well, sir, what can I say? Thank you. Thank you very much. Accident. Accident. No, I won't have an accident. I will be really, really careful and uh, ride safely at home. Yes, thank you. And if you are a soldier of the 81st Regiment that drowned in the St. Morris River, yes, you had an accident, and sadly that you drowned. Books. And yes, you were put in a box. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. But if you are a soldier of the 81st Regiment, why are you here at the tomb of Mr. Sinclair? So, thank you for communicating with me and love her again. Luffy. Earlier you said love. No lover. No, I'm sorry, I won't be your lover, sir. <laughs> well if you want me to, but no. 
So, if you want me to leave right now, you can turn off the flashlight. Okay, so I'll leave and I'll come back some other time. Do you want me to come back some other time? Turn on the flashlight if you want me to come back. Be fearful. Be fearful. Why should I? Why should I? Can you turn on the flashlight if you want me to come back? Or if you don't want me to come back, can you turn on the flashlight? You don't know? So I'll ask again, if you want me to come back, turn on the flashlight. So you want me to come back, all right. Just to confirm, to be sure, can you turn off the flashlight if you want me to come back? Yeah, can you do it? A little bit more? Yeah, good, thank you. Well, I will come back another day. But for tonight, body. body, yes, I have my body. But one day when I'll die, I will lose it as well as you did. So I will be just like you, energy. And I will probably communicate with another investigator like me through devices like I'm doing with you. So I'll thank you very much and uh, I'll see you. Well, that's it, explorers. A little conversation with Mr. St. Clair, and uh, yeah, come back and see him another time. I'll be careful, yeah. Just told me to be careful. Look at that. Just told me to be careful. Yeah, I'll be careful, sir. So, well, that's it, explorers. James Sinclair. Another investigation coming your way pretty soon. I'll see you next time. And explore, explore a history throughout the paranormal. Hey. Breathe. A breath. A breath again. A breath again on my rampod. Well, go figure. I'll see you next time.